name is Maya. This is your very first time here. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit subscribe below so that you are updated every time that I drop new videos. I know it's been a second, guys. It's been a little bit over a week. And that has been the longest that I've gone without posting a video. And I'm sorry, but this week has just been so stressful for me. I'm going to get more into that in detail in a moment. But today I pretty much want to do a full face tutorial for you guys using some of my favorite products that launched this summer, you know. So I'm using some different eyeshadow palettes, highlighters, lippies, all that good stuff. So, you know, I feel like this look is giving me very summer is coming to an end, but fall is coming, you know. And I, I, I like that because fall is my favorite season for makeup. Y'all gonna see why for the next couple months. But yeah, that's what we did today. If you wanna see how I got this look and chit chat with me a little bit, then go ahead and keep watching and I'll see y'all at the end. It's been a it's been a second. It's been about a week since I posted my last video. I don't know y'all, let me tell you. It's been a while since taking any breaks or didn't post any videos for a while. I was like back when I first started my channel. It was more of me, you know, feeling sorry for myself, like don't nobody like my channel da, 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 da. this time it wasn't that though this time life just happened it's just been kind of stressful I've had a few things happen this week that I was not expecting that weren't the best but you know everything's fine and then also me and my man celebrated our two-year anniversary this past weekend so I was busy planning that and doing that and then uh, I started school this week <laughs> Um, I am, for those of you who don't know, I am getting my master's in um, advertising right now. And it's just been a week. So, I'm sorry that I didn't post last week, but I'm back like I never left. And we're good. So, I wanted to just do a quick tutorial of, hopefully full face, I'm thinking this is going to be a full face tutorial, of just all of my favorite summer products that have come out. My favorite eyeshadow palettes from this summer. I would have to say Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette. Also the Kylie B-Day palette. Love that. And then also um, my Olive Sarai by Those the Colors palette as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use a combination of the Kylie as well as the Fenty. I want it to be glam but I kind of want it to be also um, just something that is wearable. You know, so wearable glam. Yeah, wearable glam. Yeah, I know I love my pink, so I'm gonna try to shy away from this look turning out completely pink. Can't make no promises. I'm also gonna try not to do a cut crease. Can't make no promises about that either. But, you know, let's just see what we come out with. So the first color that I'm gonna use in my crease, which is always my little transition color that I like to use to help blend everything, is pregame, and that's from the Kylie B Day collection. So the second color in my crease I'm gonna go into is Close the Tab from the Kylie palette, and I'm just gonna dust that lightly into my crease. See, that gives us a nice, warm, burnt, reddish feeling, you know, we gonna, we gonna work with this. You can't tap into this too much because it will give you way too much, way more than you bargained for. And we don't need the problems. So I also told you guys that I was gonna be doing a skincare video and it was supposed to be my next video, but my week just got so crazy. Um, I am going to be posting that very, very soon. So just give me a moment. So from there, I wanna make my crease a little bit deeper. I'm gonna see what Saffron from the Fenty palette does. I feel like this is just gonna give me a little bit more of the red pigment that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna press that into the outer corners and then blend that in. And right now, I have absolutely no idea what direction this is going. And that's okay. So I'm gonna add a very small amount of Mimosa from the Kylie palette into the crease. Very small amount, just to give us a little bit more depth. So y'all know I am the queen of cut creases. It's my favorite look to do makeup wise. I've been trying to step out of my comfort zone and trying to, you know, do more blended looks. But the way my preferences are so, <laughs> and this being a favorites video, I kind of just want to stay true to myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and with my cut crease. And of course, the concealer I'm using is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Deep, which is my favorite concealer to use to cut my crease. I do want to do like a natural everyday look for you guys though, because I feel like I don't do that enough. 
because when I'm going to work and stuff like that I definitely don't sit there and do a very detailed cut crease every time so I would like to show you guys just a more realistic everyday look with matte colors and all that jazz so I got y'all and on the edges for your cut crease you do want to take a different brush just to brush it out and blend it into like the darker color that's on the edge this step is like imperative it cannot be skipped or you just gonna have a real deep line of demarcation on the end of your eye and it's just not gonna be cute and don't say i didn't tell you just don't, don't say i didn't tell you don't blame it on me don't be blaming it on me the first color i'm gonna go into is marakush from the fenty beauty palette and i'm gonna put that on my inner lid and this color is freaking bomb so on the edge of the color i do like to like blend it out into the lid so that it's not like a harsh stop to the color so next to that i am going to go into the 21 plus color from the kylie palette and i'm going to place that on the lid and this is creating a really pretty rose gold situation ship you know i do want to add a little bit of extra to this i'm gonna go ahead and put some of my nyx glitter primer let's put it like right in the middle of the lid so i'm gonna put my glitter primer right there in the middle and i think i'm gonna go in with like a gold glitter today it's like a gold glitter pig pigment i'm gonna go into my nyx shimmer down pigment and i'm gonna dip my brush into this and i'm gonna place that right on top of the glitter primer and I'm gonna go back into saffron just to make sure that's all blended out. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the edges of this just to make it a very clean line on the edge, you know what I'm saying? My favorite mascara that came out this summer is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara, and this is from Hourglass. And I have it in a sample size because I did get my hands on it at BeautyCon this summer. And I love it. And I'm gonna put on my falsies, and these are Icon Eyelashes in Drunken Love. And if you don't already know, I do have a coupon code with them. And, you know, I'll go ahead and drop that. You can use code Maya to get 30% off on their website. And these are mink lashes. All right, so I am going to go ahead and give you guys a full face tutorial. Since I want to show you guys all of my favorite products. This primer has been working really good for me. And this is not necessarily a new product. But it did come out with the BoxyCharm this summer, I think in May. I feel like it does do a good job of blurring, you know, my pores and all of that good stuff so i need all that to be blurred you know i am gonna go ahead and set my primer with my laura mercier translucent powder in medium deep. i always do this and this is a lifesaver for me i do have oily skin like crazy oily skin so i like to set my primer from there i'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite foundation that launched this summer which is the born this way Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which was in collaboration with Jackie Ina to have extended shades. And this is one of the extended shades. And this color is in Spiced Rum. And in my review of this foundation, I did mention that I do feel like this is like the perfect foundation for my complexion. Like I've never found another foundation that was this like perfect like such a perfect match for my skin complexion. And I do like using this brush for my foundation sometimes. Usually I am a beauty blender girl, but um, this e.l.f. blending brush is amazing. I'm also gonna be using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which is my favorite because it's full coverage, complete full coverage, but it's lightweight. And I just love how big this packaging is. Like, when have you ever seen a concealer that that's this big? Like, I haven't, and I love it. And I am going to take a little bit of it just to sculpt out my eyeshadow so that that line is very defined. And I'm going to blend that down. Using that concealer just brings that all the way out. And it's more defined, honey, because that's what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and contour. And this is my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso. This ain't new, you know. It came out last year. But this is my favorite product to cream contour with when I do choose a cream contour. And I don't do this on a regular basis. Like, I will always be a person where this bronzer, you know, can do the job. But of course, if I'm trying to do the utmost, then this has to happen. And this is my favorite product to cream contour with, even though it didn't come out this summer. You know, she, she cute or whatever. I'm gonna take a more detailed brush 
to go ahead and blend this down. Yeah, don't worry about that nose, you know, we're gonna get it together, we're gonna get it together. She looking a little, a little tight, a little smushed right now. But you know, she, she gonna come together, she gonna come together. So I'm gonna blend this contour up into my brow bone. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just swoop that right down the nose. And get rid of that really harsh line and continue to push that concealer. So from there, I'm gonna set my face. This is my normal setting powder that I use, which is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I feel like this powder will always be like my holy grail powder. I like to just pat it into my face. And then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep, and I'm gonna set the rest of my face with that. Then I'm gonna go into my bronzer, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in mahogany, and this is relatively new. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling this. This has been my absolute favorite bronzer because I feel like it's perfect for my complexion. And I'm also gonna use this bronzer to continue to contour this nose out and to set that nose contour. So my face is a little wet because I just sprayed a little Fix Plus on there just to, you know, set my face a little bit. So that's why I'm a little dewy up in here. For my under eye, I do want to kind of bring the crease back down into the bottom, but I also want to add a little more color. So I'm going to go back into Saffron from the Fenty palette and I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line. And I am going to like blow this out a little bit. So on my bottom lash line towards the outer edges, I am going to go into my Alomar palette, which was another really great palette from this summer. The color I love in here is Veradero. I know I'm saying that wrong. I'm sorry, people, you know, my, my folks that speak Spanish, I'm sorry, no disrespect. But it's this blue color right here. So I am gonna go ahead and smudge that on my lower lash line at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my smudger brush that I use for saffron just to, you know, dust over that and blend it and stuff. All right, so for my inner corner on the bottom lash line, I am gonna come back into uh, Marrakush from the Fenty palette and I'm gonna just bring that back in to the look at the bottom, just to connect that with like the overdrawing of the lid. And this is mainly so that overdrawing of the lid just don't look random, you know? So I am gonna go ahead and tight line my lower lash line with my favorite, 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 favorite gel liner right now, which is the Pretty Vulgar Gel Liner. Um, and I did get this in a boxy charm. And then I'm gonna go into my Hourglass Mascara, which is my favorite right now from the summer. And I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. Highlighter. My favorite highlighter that came out this summer is the Shayla by ColourPop highlighter. I don't know if technically that's summertime, but this is my favorite. This stuff is just crazy dope. I did find my <laughs> booming highlighter. I always use the Pose highlighter. I'm gonna use a little booming today, you know. She's more golden, you know. She's a little less bronze than Pose, boy, you know. She's cute. And I don't know why today, it kind of feels like I'm doing a mixture of some of the looks that I've done in the past, like a combination of like two or three looks that I've done recently this summer. And that's cool, you know, I like that side. It's like a little tutorial to just wrap up the summer, you know, wrap up what was popping. Okay guys, so for lips today, I'm thinking we want to go more nudish. I don't know. I've been really, my favorite two lips that came out this summer was the two that came out with the I Love Sarai by Dose of Colors collection. So I got Aesthetic and New Chica. And I have not worn Aesthetic yet completely on my lips. I think I wanna try that and see how that looks, you know? So let's go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my LA Girl lip liner first. And now that I have this on, it's making me wanna go red, but we're gonna try this out first. So we're gonna see if we're good or not. Oh. Okay, end of summer. So I feel like this look is giving me, yes, it's still summer, but fall is next week. And I'm trying to give y'all a, a little preview of what you gonna get this fall. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. Oh, I like this. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm done. Let me see if I'm gonna do something different with my hair or whatever. Wrap it up. So this is my finished look. Like I just said, this is very much, you know, what's up fall, summer, it's been nice. But we easing our way into fall. But I just wanted to do this to wrap up this summer and my summer looks and stuff. Because after this, it's about to start getting a little deeper, a little more deeper colors, richer colors, which I cannot wait for. If you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Comment below if you want to. Hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I'll see y'all in my next upload.
Bye. I'm also gonna be using the Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealing. Ugh, what? Hit, hit subscribe below. No, no, no. I also told you guys that I was gonna be doing a skincare. Ugh. Yeah, if this is your very first 